Hi, I'm Tony David Craig, and I work as a recording engineer and producer. I work in studios and I do live events. For the last couple of years, my main amounts of work have been in the fine arts, so doing large events of opera or ballet or symphony. We had a, a large outdoor event called Opera in the Domain, which was a, a live performance of an orchestra with some opera singers. A huge crowd, about 80,000 people turn up, and we have to cover them with a, a very large distributed delay system of speakers. Using fuzz measure out in an environment like that allows us to tune and tweak the system during the day when we're not allowed to make very much noise. So standard pink noise bursts would cause problems, whereas using fuzz measure allows us to use these discrete sign sweeps and get an understanding of what the system's doing before we get a chance to run it all. The main challenge I find with our work is separating the human from the science. There's emotion, which is music and art, and then there's the science, which is the engineering part. And I have to be able to deliver content that's consistent and even and accurate, whereas my emotional state will change day to day. So I find fuzz measure allows me to tune my speakers, tune my headphones, understand that the equipment that I'm using is not introducing some delay. All of this happens within one program that allows me to see instantly that there's no problem, it is what I think it is, and then I can just get on with the rest of my day working, being creative. Originally, I was drawn to Fuzz Measure because it was the first Mac-based application that uh, allowed us to do proper transfer function in impulse response recordings and measurements. The visual representation was appealing, easy to use, very, very clear, you know, it just felt like every other program I was using during the day. But what looks like a very simple program is very complex and very powerful. One of the additional benefits I find of fuzz measure is that in the act of taking the measurements, it actually is recording a file which is capturing the sound of a space at that location. And that can be used for analysis, but you can also grab that file and put it into convolution reverb engines and recreate the sound of that space as an audio effect. I was really excited to hear of the news of Road Test and the acquisition of Fuzz Measure by Road. The power that that tool affords you, I think everybody should be having that. It's something that I've championed for a long time of you've got to know the science behind the work that you're doing. It's the simplest thing to do and the effect it has on your work is phenomenal. You know, it's huge. It rules out all of the human and you can see the data there. And so the idea of Road coming out and bringing that into the mainstream means that analysis and scientific assessment of your audio systems becomes commonplace. And that can only lead to a positive outcome in the future, I think.